Student employment has been working with IT personnel to leverage dynamic forms in a way that will help improve the onboarding process for on-campus student employees. We are excited to announce that students will now be able to complete their personal action forms and their fraud documents digitally and then submit them to student employment in real time. We have also moved additional forms used for the hiring of students on the Health Science campus to the same digital format. Due to federal regulations, the I-9 will remain a paper copy. The student will have to complete the complete page one and meet with the hiring department to complete page two and present their original forms of identification for verification. These forms must continue to be sent through campus mail to student employment at mail stop 112. Let's take a look at the process for completing one of the new digital forms. Students will be able to access all of the links from the on-campus student employment website. Students will be able to click on the link to open the form. If the student is already signed into their My UT, the form should automatically open. In the event they are not signed in, they will be prompted to do so. Dynamic Forms is connected to Banner. By signing into the system, it will auto-populate any information that is already on file for the student into the form. I will demonstrate the system by completing the Personal Action Form. This is the form that collects the most information for a new hire. After I log in, the form has populated my information. If there's any missing information, I am able to click yes to the question, would you like to update any information? This opens up the form for correction. Once the additional information has been completed, I can save it. If all of the boxes were already completed, I can click no to the question, would I like to update my information? Be sure that everything has been completed, otherwise the form will be returned for correction, slowing down the hiring process. Once you're happy with the form, click next at the bottom of the page where it will take you onto the final page where you can provide your digital signature and submit the form to student employment.